hey guys welcome back to my channel ha. can you guys see my new look my new hair i'm excited <laughs> obviously this is the first time i'm actually wearing this wig and i love it so much and yes um welcome back to another video is nello here and if you're new you are most definitely welcome please subscribe right now before you even go into this video okay subscribe if you haven't already and if you're a returning subscriber you already know you are the real mvp you are the real mvp thank you so much for tuning in again today today's video obviously is going to be a get ready with me from the title you guys already know it's going to be a chit chat get ready with me where i'm going to be discussing some things that just really frustrate me about this country that we live in okay i'm sure we all have a lot of things that frustrate us about Nigeria. So let's just have a little chat while I do this makeup. And yes, I will see you guys at the end of the video. No, not at the end. Obviously, I'm going to see you guys through the video. Then I'll see you guys again at the outro. Okay, let's let's just get into the video. So I had to tie my hair back because the fan is just blowing it everywhere and it's just getting all over my face so anyways let's start this makeup i don't even know exactly what i'm doing today i think uh, i really have no idea see i just got a call from the post office so after a few minutes i have to go to the post office and then go where i'm printing the banner for kaito's birthday and um printing like the exercise book that we're adding to the party pack so it's not like i have anything important to do so i think i'm just going to do something very neutral anyways we all know that the reason why i'm here and why you guys are here is so we discuss the issue that i have today which is a very interesting one let me just stop rambling and just start my makeup hold on so as usual for my foundation i'm mixing color pop with maybelline my new favorite combo right now i'm going to mix it on this palette a little actually goes a long way because when you combine these two foundation the amount of coverage you get is literally on the head off literally i think that's my most used word literally like <laughs> i literally use literally like <laughs> 50 times a day no kidding literally <laughs> i'm being stupid oh my god you guys i'm sure this is not why you're here anyways why i apply my foundation let us start gisting so what i really wanted to come out here and discuss today is just basically my frustration with this country like nigeria can be so frustrating and i feel like most of the time we're very, it's very easy and we're just very quick to blame like the higher power for everything going on in this country you know that is not saying that they're not to blame for a lot of things going on in this country i'm not saying that at all because let's be serious they are to blame for a lot of things going on in this country but anyways what i'm here to discuss today is just things that we cause for ourselves in the sense that things that we the citizens of nigeria cause for ourselves pains that we cause for ourselves that is what i literally literally that is what i want to talk about today first off okay can we talk about the elephants in the room you know the fact that everybody's complaining you know about the economy which obviously is very hard right now things are hard in nigeria we can't even lie you know everybody complained that things are hard in nigeria but you guys let me tell you what i've ob uh, what i have observed so quite all right things are hard in nigeria nobody's arguing that but like we make things harder for our fellow citizens in the sense that for example this i put to test i go on instagram for instance and i go to an account and i want to buy a handbag you know those people that don't put the prices under their products which i already hate and then i asked with my i asked with my nello kk account and the person goes oh the thing is six thousand naira and i'm like okay fine and then i go with another account like one of my business accounts and ask the same person the same the price of that same bag and the person goes four five what's going on here you know nigerians we cause this for ourselves because okay we get that everybody's trying to you know make money quick and make money fast but hiking the prices of your items is still going to make you not to sell those items then you're going to complain oh economy is hard market is not selling how will market sell when you're trying to be greedy you know some things that we obviously know how much you buy these things for example you're selling maybelline foundation for instance or you're selling 
what should I even say? This color pop powder that I'm using as mirror, whatever it is. And Nigerians are not dumb yet. Now, everyone has access to the internet. At least a lot of people ordering things online already have access to the internet. They've already run their research. They know how much those things are sold online. Then you come and tell me that this color pop powder I'm using, which is like $9. $9 is like, um, I don't know, 3 k thereabouts. And you want to come and sell it to me for like 8 or 10 k Like i like i'm not even understanding things are really happening in this country people are just so greedy why okay we get that you paid for shipping you pay for customs but you do realize that the more affordable you put your products the more likely you are to sell off the more likely you are to get returns on the investments and the more likely your business is going to grow it's just that simple but most times when you're trying to be greedy you forget that there is a lot of other people out there that's definitely offering the same thing you're offering but for cheaper people are not stupid these days you know when like for example when i go to instagram and i'm inquiring about something and i ask like a vendor the price or something bear in mind you're not the only person i'm asking i'm asking like five other people so that i go with the person giving me the best price it's not like it's not hard it's really not hard everybody's selling something on instagram now which makes life so much easier because right now i hate shopping in the stores like i detest shopping in the stores <laughs> i'm too lazy to go and be walking around looking for what i'm looking for being greedy is just it never pays off in the long run you can sell your first few items but then people catch up people are not stupid you know they're eventually going to find out so anyways that's one of the things that frustrate me about this country and then the most annoying thing is that ah my identity market is not selling this is this is this and that the president is the president that the president is to blame for a whole lot of things but you overhiking your price please get it straight stop putting blames on people for for your own faults you know and your own problems i used a lighter one first then i'm going in with a darker one on top to kind of tone it down a little bit because if i use just this um darker one it's not very brightening and i don't feel like going like being over bright today because like i said i'm really not doing much another thing that i know that people do that irritates me this particular one actually irritates me in this country is people that live above their means and when i say living above above your means this comes in different methods basically there are people that want to buy things they can't afford or live the kind of life they obviously cannot afford just to keep up and then there are people, the ones that the way they live above their means is to go and start having 20 freaking children that you cannot train. Like this one actually not just irritates me, it pisses me off. Especially when you see like a gay man, a driver or someone that you know they are just literally meeting ends means and they are having 6 children, 10 children. And then when you ask them, they will be like, obviously it's for a better future for them. Not even thinking about your children that you're bringing into this world. You're on a salary of 20k or 30k and you're having six kids that you have to feed, put through school, clothes, shelter, do a lot of things for plus a wife, plus every other thing you have to do, you know. And I just feel like it's so unfair to these kids. And then you see that kind of person complaining, oh, the economy is so bad, oh, um, there is no money, oh, the president this, oh, the president that. Are you even seeing what the problem is here like have as many kids as you can afford do what you can afford like it's actually punishment bringing those children into this world knowing that you are not going to be able to care for those children it's not fair to them it's really not fair and i don't know why it's always people that can afford to to train kids that always have the more kids you will see a learned rich man now will have two or three children and be happy then you will see like a driver or anybody that just does not have a lot of salary and then they're having 10 kids 
just for the hope of the future. And most of them, at the end of the day, end up sending these kids out to live with people or like the kids who end up walking on the streets to support their family like there are two boys that i know personally like they they hawk around where my stories and i just really feel bad for them because these kids they go to school quite all right yes they go to school but they come back from school i think around one then they hawk too late because it's money they get from hawking that their parents using paying school fees for them and i asked him how much is your school fees he was like 600 naira or something like that so imagine is the money they get from hawking they pay school fees clothes and by clothes i mean these boys literally wear the same thing from january to december if they don't get help from people they will wear the same thing for the next five years i'm sure so all the suffering that the, their parents are putting them through what are they exactly using the money for i won't be surprised that the boy's father is just somewhere drinking beer with that money every night in the beer parlor because if you're dumb enough or stupid enough to bring in children you cannot train in this world then obviously you're going to be stupid enough to use the money they make for you and just have fun in the beer parlor and probably chase girls and just be stupid i know i'm i'm judging here and i know i'm just like what's what's what i'm looking for i don't know these people i'm just assuming a lot of assumptions but it's just how i feel it pisses me off let's try and live within you know our means let's not do things that we can't afford in this 2019 yeah i saw a post that chinyere posted as a yummy mom and she was like in this 2019 let's shake our coke and, you know it will bubble and let's pop it something like that why we wait to be able to afford champagnes to pop it's just that simple if you know that you're not going to be able to afford champagne pop your coke he's okay nobody cares the people we are trying to impress anywhere or anyhow you're trying to impress them they don't even care about you they don't even care about you that's the truth of the matter the people that actually care about you don't care about how much you have in your account or how much it looks like you have in your account so let's get our priorities straight this is 2019 so i'm back and i'm done with my eyes i've not really been wearing lashes these days and i can't even say that i've been missing wearing lashes so we're doing a lash a false lashes less look today is that even a thing <laughs> oh my god anyways today we're not going to be wearing lashes so another set of people that annoy me so much in this country and frustrates me too much they're cab drivers see the mentality a lot of cab drivers have there's no coming back from there's really no coming back from not only are they extremely reckless when they drive they are just something else you'll be driving and a cab comfortably stop in the middle of the road with a lot of cars behind them drop passengers and pick up passengers without caring about the feelings of the every other person behind them and i'm just like you see that is one of the problems we have in this country people just do whatever they want and there's no consequences but you, they will even do it in front of a policeman and nothing will happen but let me now come and stop my car like that in the middle of the road or something you see them all the police people around there will just run out you know because at the end of the day they know that they can't collect any money from the cab cabs already know that they can get away with literally anything on the road so they just do rubbish but then when they see that you're someone that they can collect money from obviously you have entered like you have actually entered that day how is this country supposed to function when things like this are still happening how is this country supposed to function where we are not you know paying like the consequences for our own actions and for the most part is other people that you know pay consequences for our own actions or our own bad doing we have to stop putting blames and just pointing fingers each and every one of us have a lot to do to actually make this country better no jokes we have a lot to do personally personal growth we need to change a lot of things about ourselves about the way we view things about the way we do things just about the way we live personally and then we can start from there because if all we do 
every time it's just basically point fingers then nothing is really going to change we're just going to keep pointing fingers and pointing fingers and even when the new people come in power we're still going to keep pointing fingers they have their own part of the job to do but we will equally have our own part of the job to do i'm preaching you know, i'm not saying i'm in sense i'm not saying that everything i'm saying not do that i abide to it and i actually don't do it i'm sure sometimes i still behave like that but i'm just saying it's a lot more than just putting blames it's just a whole lot more than that so let's try and change ourselves this 2019 there's just living in this country is frustrating i don't blame everybody running away i can't even count how many of my friends have moved to canada or somewhere else just in search and hopes for a better life a better economy just a more functioning country that's another thing in nigeria nigeria is not very it's not very functional you know things don't function the way they are supposed to everything is just jaga jaga everything scatter scatter bomb and this sofa sofa buzza, buzza. <laughs> i'm sure you know this song but that's actually what this country is that's how this country is so it's funny i love how my face is coming out like absolutely absolutely love how my face looks anytime i use this combo that i use today i actually love it like let me tell you guys a quick short story so there's one lady that normally sells tomato for me in the market just just oh god look at that glow yes you guys i'm sorry you already know my windows are open so my neighbors my neighbor is a factory so yeah they are probably offloading something hence the horn you just heard anyways let me tell you for a short story about a lady that i used to buy tomato from in the market and ah oh god i love contour i love highlights and i like it pop i like it to pop more like so i know this is too much for some people but this is just enough for me anyways i'm rambling again about the lady in the market that i buy tomatoes from why i stopped buying tomatoes from her so one time when i wanted to buy like a custard of tomato you know tomato prices goes up or down according to like um season you know we all know that no doubt but i wanted to buy tomato let's say i bought tomato like four days before and the price then was like one five for that um custard bucket so prices were a bit high then and then four days later i come back again to buy tomato and the woman was just like it's one eight and i'm like how does it go from one five to one eight i think it's not supposed to be getting cheaper sure like it's one eight and mind you this is my customer this is someone i buy something from all the time so i was like okay fine give me a a, a custard of tomato like the custard pocket size and then she gave me the tomatoes then i walked down the street i have another boy like he's younger everybody's 16 something you know he's writing jam and all that that i buy things from and my mind just told me to ask for the price of tomato i asked this boy and this boy goes that oh tomato my uh, auntie you're even lucky today oh, tomato is cheap today tomato is um is 800 naira today i was like no you can't be serious tomato is 800 naira today he was like yeah tomato is 800 naira today so i told him to give me another um what's it called custard sized uh pocket of tomato and then i didn't say anything to that woman that time but she noticed that i stopped buying things from her because i buy things from her neighbors and every other person around there but i stopped to today i've not given her my own naira. and then one day she was just like ah what happened now that i stopped buying something from her and I now reminded her of, you know, what happened that tomato day and how she took me. She's like, Madam, you know, not so market day now. We have to sell. I'm like, that is why you've lost me and lost probably a whole lot of other people. Because you can't be greedy in a market like this. There's like 500 people selling this tomato here. And you feel like you want to cheat your customer. It's so wrong. And let me tell you, anytime you go to buy things around her, nobody's buying things for her. No kidding. Her tomato is always there spoiling. She will now reduce the price and just want to sell it off. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one she did that kind of thing to. Because there must be a reason why people are no more buying for her. Moral of the story, don't be greedy in your sales. Don't be greedy. Like, no matter what you're selling, whether you're selling vegetables, tomatoes, clothes, shoes, bag, makeup, don't be greedy. We all get that we're in this big business to make money. But the way things are hard for you is also the way things are hard for the person coming to buy from you. So you just have to be considered. But that's just me talking with small sense, right? <laughs>
<laughs> some people really don't care they are just in it to just do people and just maximize their profits not caring about the people that are buying from them but hey let's try and care you guys so guys this is the finished look this is how the look came out i absolutely love it as always i always love when i do my makeup for some reason anyways um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the discussion in this video let me know what your frustrations are about this country because i'm sure we all have a lot of things that frustrate us about nigeria no kidding let me know let's chat in the comment section as always and keep an eye out for my next video which is going to be kaito's birthday vlog i'm so excited his birthday was actually yesterday but we are celebrating it in a few days so my next vlog is going to be like his birthday vlog the preparations and everything and also before i forget this hair i'm wearing just because i love this hair this is not sponsored obviously in any way i was not even in fact they don't even know who i am i'm sure the people that sell this hair they are called mega look but i love this hair so much so when i was trying to get bob like i asked a bunch of vendors on Insta instagram and the least amount i got from a vendor was 50k for this kind of hair and i'm just like see I might have 50k but do i really want to give someone 50k to get this no the answer is no <laughs> so i went on aliexpress and searched and searched it took me like a week or so i was reading comments trying to read reviews and pictures that people put up and randomly i came across this mega look and you know they had a lot of good reviews and i ordered the hair from them and it's absolutely amazing i love it so much i just ordered two bundles and i had a closure before i ordered the hair so i just used the old closure i had and it goes so well with the hair so i ordered two bundles and the two bundles in naira cost me like 15k thereabout so affordable and i made the wig for 5k so all in all plus everything on this hair it cost me like everything on this hair basically cost me less than 30k so that was a better deal for me than paying 50k and above to buy it on instagram anyways i'm rambling again i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys